Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Understanding how to choose the right type of IP for sending emails with Amazon Simple Email Service is crucial for effective email delivery. I'm Tristan Nguyen and with me is my colleague Pavlos Ioannou Katidis. Before we delve into the details, let's briefly discuss what IPs are. IPs or Internal Protocol Addresses are unique addresses that computers use to send and receive data. In the world of email, the IPs that email servers use for sending play a crucial role in the throughput and email send reputation. When sending an email, the outbound email server uses one or more IPs to deliver this email to the receiving email server. IPs email servers use for sending define two things. The first one is the throughput, which is the number of emails you can send per second. To put it into perspective, each IP has 40 transactions per second, which includes both emails sent or retried. The more dedicated IPs you have, the higher throughput you can achieve. The second point is the email sender reputation. This is a score that a mailbox provider assigns to the IPs of an organization that sends email. A low sender reputation score can impact your deliverability and result to your emails ending up in the spam folder. With that in mind, Tristan will talk about the different IP options Amazon SES offers. Amazon SES supports both shared and dedicated IPs, which then comes in three different flavors, standard, managed, and bring your own IPs. Firstly, since shared IPs are used by multiple Amazon SES customers to send emails, they already have an IP reputation. For standard dedicated IPs, these are IPs that you can lease directly from Amazon SES and you are the sole sender. These IPs do not have previous sender reputation and you should therefore gradually increase the amount of emails that you send from those addresses before using it to its full capacity. This process is called warming up the IP address and it can take up to 45 days. This gradual increase helps your IPs build a positive reputation with mailbox providers. Managed dedicated IPs, on the other hand, is an Amazon SES feature that automatically sets up and manage dedicated IP addresses on your behalf. This helps to provide a quick and easy way to start using dedicated IP addresses that are managed by SES. This also helps to ensure that your dedicated IP addresses are used efficiently and optimally for how you send email. Last but not least, we have Bring Your Own IPs, which makes it possible for you to use your own IP addresses to send email through Amazon SES. If you already have a range of IP addresses to send email, you can therefore request that we make your IP range available for sending email through Amazon SES. Now that you have a high-level understanding of each IP type that Amazon SES offers, let's view the factors that you need to take into consideration in order to choose the right IP type. To help you choose the right IP for your use case, you can use the decision tree below and ask the following four questions. The first one is, are you migrating from another email service provider where you use dedicated IPs and you would like to continue using them with Amazon SES? In that case, bring your own IPs might be an option you want to consider. The second question is, do you have a predictable sending pattern? A predictable sending pattern is when sending roughly the same number of emails on a daily basis without random spikes. If you are expecting spikes or periods where few to no emails are going out, then shared IPs is the right option. The third question is, are you sending more than 500 emails per day? In this case, we recommend using dedicated IPs as bounce or complain events in low sending volumes have a higher impact on your IP reputation. If you are sending less than 500 emails per day, we recommend you using shared IPs. The fourth question is if you want to manage your IP warm-up and scaling. If you are sending more than 500 emails per day and have predictable sending patterns, then you can use either standard or managed dedicated IPs. 
choosing minus dedicated IPs alleviates the overhead of leasing and warming up the dedicated IPs yourself. If your use case has a consistent and predictable sending pattern, as well as a minimum sending volume of 500 emails per day, you can choose between shared, standard dedicated and managed dedicated IPs. In such cases, it depends on your preferences and potential future changes of your setting patterns and volumes. In the following slides, we will look into each IP type in more detail and list some of their key features, benefits and considerations. Amazon Shared IPs is the default option when you are trying to create an Amazon SES instance. Using Shared IPs has the following benefits. Shared IPs are already warmed up so you can start using them immediately, so they are ready to use out of the box. You can also increase your sending limits very easily, which can be done via the Service Quotas console, which has an SOA up to 24 hours. Amazon SES also manages the sending reputation of these IPs and rotates them accordingly. They do not have any requirements around sending volumes or sending patterns. This makes shared IPs ideal for spiky traffic. Some of the considerations that you, however, should have in mind when sending with shared IPs are, firstly, you will not be able to create dedicated IP pools, which could help prevent reputation spillovers between different use cases such as promotional and transactional messages. IPs also change without notice. If you have any requirements around allow listings, shared IPs might not be the right choice as Amazon SES rotates them without notice to you. Email queuing is also not supported because if your application exceeds the maximum number of emails sent per day or the maximum number of emails sent per second, Amazon SES will throttle these emails and not send them. To prevent this from happening, it's recommended to either implement a queuing solution or add some waiting in your application code when an email gets throttled. Even if your use case qualifies for dedicated IPs, you could still use Amazon SES shared IPs. If you are, however, sending more than 500 emails per second, and if you want to move to dedicated IPs, you can do so to have more control over your sending reputation. Dedicated standard IPs can be listed at an extra fixed cost per dedicated IP per month from the Amazon SES console. Using standard dedicated IPs has the following benefits. You are the only sender and in full control of the sending reputation of the IPs you lease. You can create a dedicated IP pool per use case to prevent potential reputational damage between them. And you know the IP addresses you are sending emails from. This is ideal for use cases where recipients need to allow list email service providers based on their IP addresses. Some of the considerations that you should have in mind when sending with standard dedicated IPs are you are responsible for the health of these IPs and if any of them gets added to a DNS block list, you should either relinquish it or contact the postmaster of the domain that rejected your message to request an exception from their spam filtering policy. Some postmasters have support processes and may publish a postmaster page that describes this process. Similar to the shared IPs, standard dedicated IPs will not send emails that exceed the maximum number of emails sent per day or maximum number of emails sent per second. As Tristan mentioned, it is recommended to either implement a queuing solution or add some waiting in your application code when an email gets throttled. After warming up a dedicated IP address, it is recommended to maintain a sending volume above 500 emails per day with a predictable sending pattern. The last one is, depending your sending volumes and throughput, you need to calculate how many dedicated IPs you need to lease and warm up in advance. The last option is Manage Dedicated IPs, which is an Amazon SES feature that automatically sets up and manages dedicated IP addresses on your behalf. This helps to provide a quick and easy way to start using dedicated IP addresses that are managed by SES. Using managed dedicated IPs has the following benefits. Firstly, you do not need to request or relinquish managed dedicated IP addresses through the AWS Support Center. 
as is usually required when you are using standard dedicated IPs. When you are onboarding with dedicated IPs managed, you are also automatically allocated your dedicated IP addresses and are charged a fee, which is based on the volume of messages that you sent. Secondly, you do not have to manually monitor or scale your dedicated IP pools. This is because the managed IP pool scales out and in automatically based on your usage. It also takes into consideration ISP-specific policies. For example, if SES detects that an ISP supports a low daily send quota, the pool scales out to better distribute traffic to that ISP across more IP addresses. Once the warm-up phase is complete, any excess capacity is killed and sent only through the dedicated IP pool. Therefore, managed dedicated IP also supports email queuing. Last but not least, you can create a managed dedicated IP pool per use case to prevent potential reputational damage between them. Some of the considerations, however, that you should have in mind when sending with managed dedicated IPs are Firstly, to qualify for managed dedicated IPs, you do need to send a minimum of 500 emails per day over 5 days. Secondly, managed dedicated IP cost is volume based unlike standard managed dedicated IPs where you usually have to pay a monthly fixed cost per IP. However, managed dedicated IPs features ensures that you are using the optimal number of dedicated IPs at any time based on your sending pattern. If you want to use your own IP addresses, Amazon SES includes a feature called Bring Your Own IP, which makes it possible to use your own IP addresses to send email through Amazon SES. Using the Bring Your Own IP feature allows you to start sending emails through Amazon SES immediately without having to re-establish your IP's reputation. Some of the considerations that you should have in mind if you choose to bring your own IPs are that first, you cannot use the Amazon SES shared IPs. To send emails via the Amazon SES shared IPs, you need to use Amazon SES in a different AWS region or create a new AWS account. The second one is that the most specific IP address range you can choose for migration is a forward slash 24 which corresponds to 256 IP addresses. At the moment, Amazon ECS doesn't support individual IP address transfers while there is a monthly charge for each of the IPs migrated. In this video, you have learned Amazon ECS's four IP types along with their benefits and considerations. Use the decision tree shared in this presentation to choose the right IP type for your use case. Thank you for watching and for more information visit the link in the description. Happy emailing!